Your heart supplies blood to the entire body, including your brain, through a network of blood vessels known as your circulatory system. But if blood can't get to your brain because blood vessels are damaged or blocked, or if blood leaks into the brain, your brain cells can die. This can lead to vascular dementia. Blood vessels can become damaged over time because of a fatty buildup, or be blocked by a clot, which causes a stroke or series of mini strokes. A number of factors increase the risk of damaging your blood vessels or can lead to a bleed in the brain, such as smoking, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, poorly controlled diabetes, excessive alcohol and obesity. Ron has recently been diagnosed with vascular dementia. He's been experiencing memory loss, difficulty problem solving, and his family have noticed personality changes. However, the symptoms of vascular dementia vary for everyone, depending on which area of the brain are suffering from a loss of blood supply. Ron controls his blood pressure and exercises more, as research has shown this can help brain function. He also takes part in social activities to help with communication and memory. With your continued support, we're funding research to understand more about vascular dementia. But unfortunately, there is currently no cure. However, as Ron has been diagnosed early, he has a range of information and support available to him and those around him. One in six people over the age of 80 have dementia. Vascular dementia is the second most common type of dementia after Alzheimer's disease. More information on vascular dementia can be found at bhf.org.uk. BHF. Beat heartbreak from vascular dementia. Beat heartbreak forever.